Gregafarian here, gregafarian.com and Virtual Media Realty, doing my market and news report for the week of March 1st through the 5th. How you doing? Hope you're well. Can't believe it's March. I mean, uh, I don't know where someone said, where did January and February go? And it's, uh, it's amazing. Time just flies by when you're having fun. And that's Monty. Monty, be quiet. So today we had some interesting news. The jobs report came out and non-farm jobs uh, declined. And it's declined 25 out of 26 months. And uh, it declined 36,000. And they were actually expecting that that number could have been worse because of the weather, the extreme weather the Northeast has been having. And I'll tell you, uh, so sick of winter. But, you know, it's all right. It's uh, coming to an end, and hopefully spring will be around the corner. Spring's in what? 17 days or something? 16 days? We'll see. But, um, yeah, you know, I don't know. That, that number, I think, the jobs number is a little bit of a smokescreen. Creating government jobs, that's not how you build prosperity. Uh, when, you, when you're trying to create jobs... You have to cut taxes. You gotta increase um, business spending, and that's what creates jobs. You know, it's really sort of a smokescreen. I, I saw these temporary jobs that they've added, and you know, with all the spending, the billions and billions of dollars that they're spending, you know, yeah, the number, the numbers, you know, getting smaller. But is it really? You know, how many of those people have stopped looking for jobs? You know, I mean, it doesn't really take that into consideration. Pending home sales declined from the month of January, uh, 7.6%. And that was a pretty sharp drop. And if you take in consideration the tax credit for uh, first-time home buyers and, you know, regular buyers getting that tax credit and also the low interest rates, I, I think that number is a bit surprising. Uh, but, you know, really, for real estate, especially in the Northeast, uh, usually the months of January, February, March are typically slow months. So we'll see, we'll see what February brings. Uh, that number will probably be better, I would think. Uh, we see a lot more activity going on, a lot more properties being listed. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, crude oil is one thing to keep an eye on. And I said last week... You know, that's one of the four things that I would keep an eye on. And that broke above 80. Uh, right now it's at $81.50. And a lot of people are saying that it's going to hit 90. And I wouldn't be surprised if it did hit 90 or tried to approach the $100 level. Um, that is one thing that's a killer for the economy. And as that goes up and the price at the pump goes up, uh, that's one real... Uh, big wrench that's going to get stuck in there if, uh, you know, the the economy is trying to recover. And that's uh, really like a natural tax hike. So uh, keep an eye on that. Gold, gold is at $1,136 uh, $1, an ounce. And, you know, those are my two indications of inflation. So I'd keep an eye on both of those. Uh, other things in the news, Greece uh, is still an issue in their debt and uh, you know credit crisis. And today, uh, they they actually had bonds that were auctioned off that went quite well, uh, but you know that didn't stop the rioters in the streets. I don't know. That's a big problem in some of these other countries. You know, um, we'll have to see what happens. I mean, keep an eye on that, but. You know, you can't help it, I guess. You know, this is the way it is, you know, right now. We're a bit in a credit crisis. And until things get better, you know, which at this at this moment, there's no silver lining. Um, you know, it's not going to get better in six months. But, you know, with everything going on, all the spending, I mean, you would only anticipate that things will recover uh, shortly. 30-year fixed rates decreased. Uh, the national average dropped to 4.95%. And 
and that's down from last week's 5.03%. And the 15-year decreased as well to 4.27%. National average down from 4.35%. Now, the market did pretty well this week. Uh, currently, you know, the market is up about, the Dow is up about 150 points for the week. Uh, NASDAQ did pretty good. They were saying that the NASDAQ had its uh, best week since October, uh, and it was up 75 points this week. Stocks that I would keep an eye on is Apple. Um, I think Apple is one of those stocks that you got to, you know, it really measures the gauge of what's going on. Apple, Google, um, REM. I, I like those stocks. Uh, other other stocks that I would keep an eye on is companies like Valero. Um, I, I like that stock, actually, and uh, was actually one of my favorites. And uh, I think it's it has some room to grow. But Apple, I'd be careful with. Uh, everyone saying, buy Apple, buy it, buy it. It hit an all-time high right now. And um, I don't know. I don't, I don't like buying stocks when they're at all-time highs. I would tend to say that. Uh, one one uh, speed bump, and that thing will be poised to go oh. down 30, 40 points, uh, especially if the iPad doesn't do that good. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, Oscars are this weekend. Yippee. I'll be uh, really excited to watch them. And uh, Olympics are over. Got a little bit of a hangover from that. I uh, really enjoyed watching the Olympics. And uh, hockey game was actually the most watched hockey game uh, since 1980, 1980 Olympics. I believe they said 30 million people watched that game. And fortunately, the U.S. lost to the Canadians. But I don't know. If the U.S. played the Canadians five times, I think they'd win three of those games. But it's a one-game series. So anyways, hope you're doing well. Let me know if you have any questions. Real estate, it's a great time to be buying. So uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. Greg Afarian, out for now. Have a great weekend.